welcome back here to this to my channel of an everyday life of an ASB. If you're following me and you're new to my channel, I'm ASB. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness versus sharing you guys my life stories and experiences with asbestos syndrome and the other diagnoses that come from the territory. I also hope to become a mental advocate for person for you all that are struggling in your everyday life. It's not fair that we have to struggle or face some of our struggles alone. However, we should be able to be ready to seek the help we need. So, and all further ado, guys, while you've been watching me, as you know, I've been just bringing out some of the stuff from my journal, or as what some people may call it, the black book. But I don't call it the black book, I just call it my journal of thoughts while I've been writing down some things that I feel close to my heart to share with you all based on my life experiences. And hopefully with some of these messages, regardless of it all that's hidden and embedded in these you know, thought patterns of mine that hopefully will be a message of hope, clarity, and hopefully that in this will give you some peace and clarity as well along the way. So this one's basically all about letting go, are you ready? This one's just all my personal thoughts and opinions right now that I want to share with you all. I'm going to be real and transparent. It's never easy, obviously, to let go in the first place of certain things that comes our way, regardless of the situation or circumstance that arises, be it whatever we're facing. Sample wise, like for me at that time was that toxic relationship I had, you know, that I had for quite some time and also some of the toxic friendships along the way that dragged me down to whatever point it may be. It's always good to just be wise and know what's going down regardless of it all as well so that hopefully we just don't get scarred or burned. Also, I'm going to be honest and real right now to you all that one of the most hardest things I had to do in my life as I shared basically, like anyone else, making the choices of our everyday choices, you know, or is about to make some of these everyday choices in our lives is, you know, like in life or even my own that I was facing, you know, on my own regardless and looking at myself in the mirror of all these faults, imperfections, flaws and whatnot and the like, as well as all these battle scars, you know, wounds, as well as these imperfections and flaws of everything that I've faced or been facing and that it can be really raw, really, you know, really as you soul connect to yourself so to speak because at this end of time from what I've learned regardless of it all that you know there it comes a time why we're going through this and how we're going through it I know for fact also you know for everything there comes a time and a season for change I believe and everything that happens for a reason regardless what it may be and for everything that I knew or known for quite some time basically I felt that there had to be a certain change in it of the everyday situations or circumstance that I was facing at that moment of time regardless what it may be you know I knew for myself obviously that you know I can't forever change a person in a particular there's no relationship or friendship I was you know with regardless what it may be because it's up to them to make the change and if that change had to be for the good, bad or the ugly, be it, you know, letting go wise so that they can hopefully find that help support if they were struggling in their own path or journey or whatever they were facing, that hopefully that they find that peace and clarity regardless what it may be, you know. I know for sake of it all though, however, the change isn't easy for us all. No way, Jose. We shouldn't have to change for the sake of others, no way. We should be changing ourselves for our own selves, for our own good, for our own purposes and reasons behind our change. You know, we shouldn't be there just to change to please others. I'm, I've learned now that you can't please others regardless of what it may be. You know, even if people tend to pick the faults and flaws on you, as well as these imperfections that they still think they can see in you, when you know damn well you are doing your best to change your situation, circumstance, or even yourself, regardless of what it is. We don't need those type of people, obviously, in our lives. If those are the type of people that we bring into our life a circle, regardless of what it may be, you know, we need to maybe question ourselves again why did we allow it to come in and whatnot i believe also that regardless of it all that with these faults flaws and imperfections regardless of it all of them seeing it you know or think they're seeing it of ours they're actually seeing a reflection of themselves however that maybe there is something that they need to change in themselves 
I'm not here to judge or criticize. I'm just sharing what's close to my heart right now. So I'm trying to share this with love and respect to you all. So bear with me. I know for faith, for the sake of change, it can be scary, daunting, demoralizing, and downright hard act for us to do to change regardless what it all i'll admit i'm one of them i'm finding that sometimes with the change can be for the good and not for the bad or vice versa but then again for me i'm trying to hold on to the retrospects you know regardless of the fear of change or not liking change at all that you know i need to just let that go you know of that thought or mindset of mine that you know change won't be good for me because now I'm starting to realize this in the last few months that yes, you know, change can be good. Uh, I want you all to sit right now in real pitch black and darkness for maybe 30 minutes or so, you know, and actually think to yourselves, okay? What do you, what do you or can you see right now? What do you or can you feel right now? You know, what do you or can you hear right now, right? What, well, uh, and amongst all this darkness that you're, you know, going, sitting through, obviously you're sitting in dead silence. There's not much sound to be heard, as well as that darkness you're seeing and facing, you know. And seeing that within this, though, in this darkness of it all, what I found as well as the silence is the peace and clarity that you may need as well as facing maybe loneliness at times You'll you will feel and hear your heart obviously so close to you beating you hear the heart beats as well as maybe speaking to you You can really feel something so strong yet so close and warm to to you, you know and your skin and your body and that's something that you're really feeling and I believe is that that what you're feeling right now is your soul and spirit intertwined. Okay, like I said before with my life story, in my life I went through periods and trials of, you know, and tribulations of depression, loneliness, dep obviously suicidal thoughts, you know, a suicidal attempts to just end life, obviously, as well as anxiety, social anxiety. I still face some of these today. But I'm actually proud to say to myself that I am actually getting better and actually becoming more of a conqueror than I am allowing these, you know, circumstances or situations that I do experience disappear. You know, yeah, being in these dark moments of time, regardless, as well as these dark places in my life, obviously brings me or even you guys a place you will know closer than even more and ever before, however regardless what it is, you know, and I believe that in, during these periods in tr of trials and tribulations of what you may be facing, regardless of it all, basically, this short has helped us test us, regardless what it may be, and everything we know and love and everything we knew may change. At this breaking point of it all though, regardless of what I've learned during these periods of trials and tribulations I was facing, it was breaking me, creating me a stronger and better person, as well as a wiser person through courage and faith. While going through all of what I was going through at that moment of time, however, I was holding onto the proverbial ropes, you know, of the problems, what ifs, you know, running through my mind, at that point of time for so tightly and for so long however fearing for a lot of things and doubting a lot about myself and doubting about the situation i was facing will never end but there will always be an ending in that darkness of that tunnel with that light while holding on tightly and for so long though it was for me figure to speak here was getting red sore and swollen I also, at that time, to me, it felt like I was tied up in chains of certain, you know, situations of these struggles that was blinding me by the lies of the enemy that fed me, and I couldn't find the key to break these chains. Until one day I found and said to myself, enough is enough, I'm more than these lies and situations I'm facing. <clears throat> 
I did question myself like you all may have during your trials and tribulations of these periods, however, you know, once in a while or just a few times while I was going through these periods was what am I doing here? What am I doing to myself? Why am I here? Who am I? These were the questions I asked too often, you know, during these times. During my darkest hours and moments, however, I wanted to die and as I didn't have to, felt that I didn't have to face, you know, my fears on my own anymore. Instead of reaching out for help, you know, regardless of what all be it, you know, facing those trials during my depression time or when I was really anxious seeking out the help I needed, you know, through family and friends and people who I can trust to talk to. Sometimes the simple solutions in our lives is as easy or just staring right in front of our face blank straight there. Mm, that answer could be to, like I said, letting go of anything that doesn't belong in our life. For example, a broken or abusive relationship, in my case, some form of addiction. So you may be, you know, having, be it addiction of gambling, addiction of alcohol, what have you. If you're searching for happiness in your own life, however, choice is up to you how and what you want to do in your life. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, however. I'm just here to, like I said, share my stories and encourage you guys and uplift you as much as I can. You're all the writers and creatives of your story. If you're searching for happiness in life, let go, live and breathe. Love yourself. Be yourself. Don't be forever, you know, succumbed to knowing or feeling that you have to be someone that you're not. It's okay, like I said so many times before, to be different. It's okay to stand up from the rest of others and actually know what we want in our lives because we all have our own, you know, life story to tell. <clears throat> As I shared in one of my videos before this one, however, if you've been following me, is like about the one called basically, I'm trying to remember it on top of my head right now. Time to act, admitting your faults, basically. Like, I did blame others for my own personal situations and circumstances that I was facing or even the problems I was facing, you know. <clears throat> Despite all of this though, however, I started becoming hard on myself after, you know, learning to let go, obviously, of that blaming others in my social school circle or social circle, however, you know, um, I kept on being hard on myself, beating myself up day in, day out, basically, on the problems or the circumstances that I've gone through, you know, and in reality, basically, Without this, facing my own fears, obviously, of the reality of my dreams, goals, visions, and passions I had in my life that was instilled in my life. In life, I've realized that, you know, this, and wanted to share this, but I needed to most of the walls I was trying to go through into some doors of opportunities, some doors of blessings, you know, as well as all these obstacles should become, you know, blessings and opportunities also. My biggest fear in life, however, is that is my biggest achievements and successes that I made in life, regardless, even though also my other fears are what I've briefly, darkly, shown, deeply shown with you. You know, everyone who knows me or has come to know me in my path right now, I shouldn't have to or wouldn't have to explain everything and anything to them, you know, or even have to explain myself to them, you know. Hi, my name's Kieran Aka Esti. Once realising all this, though, however, I found myself in my own spirit, you know, as well as my own strength. My own spirit and strength, energy and whole being to move on forward, which wasn't easy, to be honest. Moving forward and knowing the real person, or well, the real me, of who and what I am today, and am becoming, you know, I want to become and dream to be. Well, that basically ends this the one about letting go are you ready hopefully something you can take out from this of video message that i want to share with you all regardless of what's close to my heart at that time give me the like for thumbs up the support comment below of anything that you feel to comment regardless of it all and just you know feel free just to pop in to say hello follow me on twitter facebook as the answers all 
feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so feel free to also share these videos around as i said because i feel some of these video messages that i feel close to my heart to share will be of value and use to someone else be it in your family friend circle or outside of their, those circles so and all further ado guys thanks for your support thanks for watching do what you love love what you do until next time as we signing out have a great day